Hello and welcome to my art space. My name is Terry Hines and today we're going to put the fairy schoolhouse all together. We've made fairies, we've made furniture, and now we're going to decorate the inside and fill it up. Let's get started. Here we are with our beautiful empty classroom. I've begun by putting up an old piece of measuring tape on this edge of the ceiling right here and I'm going to finish that off with the glue gun. That's how I put it on. And I'm going to tack some things up in the corner. Just going to imagine that the fairies found some really pretty little bits of string. And I'm going to tack up a little feather that they found as well. Just put that up in that corner. There. I like the way that looks. I'm going to finish tacking up this end of the And again, I think I'm going to tack up a little bit of this fiber just to fill in that gap because this time around I didn't have quite as much of the measuring tape. There. Okay. And now I'm going to put up the blackboard because every schoolroom needs a blackboard. I've used this Paper Whimsy image and I've used a white gel pen so that I could write on it, flower exam, calendulas, violets, verbenas. And the homework is potion lessons number seven, and over here it says full moon. I'm just going to finish tacking that down. There, now we have our blackboard on. Next, I'm going to decorate this end wall right here. I have another paper whimsy image of a fairy. It's like a portrait. I'm going to tack that up with some, just some tacky glue. And I found another image of a lily of the valley plant in an old dictionary. So I pulled that out. I'm going to tack that up here. And now on this end wall, this is where our fairy bookshelf is going to go. And I have another little image from a dictionary of a leaf. I'm going to also tack that up right there. Okay, and next we are going to do the ceiling. I don't know if you can see this, but a very dear friend of mine gave me these beautiful brass safety pins, and I'm going to slip that in here. I'm going to take some chain, just some, any old craft jewelry chain, and I'm going to put it in here like this, put it through the roof. You can use any old rusty safety pins. I've also stuck another safety pin right here, and I've pushed it right through the cardboard, and that's going to help hold the chain that we decorate the ceiling with. Here's another one of those fabulous pins. Poke it through. Well, actually, I'm going to put the chain on first. I've used some little pearl head pins also in the ceiling. I just, I took a regular pearl head pin and I cut it down with some wire cutters, dipped it in glue, and then shoved it through the roof. And now we're back to this one. I'm going to undo this one again and put the chain back on there. And now we have this lovely chain draped on the ceiling that we can decorate with baubles. Now we can put baubles on the ceiling. Here's a little pearl that a fairy found in the forest. I've slipped a head pin through it and just made a loop. And now I can just hook it right on the chain. So I have also just a little piece of decorative ball that actually came off of the floral 
stem that I put on the outside of the school and I'm going to hook that on too. Here's another pearl and here's a button. I just slipped a head pin through one of the holes and made a bend. Here's just a little sequin. It's just a little sequin and I'm just going to slip the head pin through there, give it a bend, another little hook like this, and then I'm just going to slip that right in the chain too. So they can hang up little things that they find, anything that takes their fancy. And now we're ready to do more decorating. The roof is all done. The bookcase goes on this end of the room, just like that. And to make it extra sturdy, we're going to use a little bit of hot glue in the corner just to hold it down. And maybe a little bit right here. It just helps to make the bookcase a little bit more sturdy. And you don't have to worry about it falling over and losing all your little fairy goodies. I think I'll put just a little right here on this edge just to hold that against the wall. Just wait a second for that to dry and then it's going to be all ready for us to fill up with all kinds of little fairy items. One of the things I like to put on my fairy bookcase is a pretty stone set on a base. This is just a little carnelian stone that I hot glued onto a button that had a bit of a well in it. Here I have another very pretty quartz stone, it's a little rutilated quartz, and here is a little button with a well. Can you see how that dips in fairly deep? And I can decide to glue it in this way, or I can decide to put it in there. I'm just going to fuss with it until I decide which way I like best, and then I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to put some hot glue in the well and then I'm going to push my stone in it. And just let that set. Very pretty. And there it is. And this is going to go on the lower shelf. Oops, it can't. It's too tall. It's going to go on the upper shelf. Okay. The other things I like to put on the shelves are little fairy books. I made these in several different ways. Some of them, I just use a little piece of the balsa wood, and I cut out a decorative piece of paper to fit the size, paint the end of the piece of wood with some black or brown magic marker, and then I glued the front and the back cover on this piece of wood. And I ended up with little books like this. Can you see the edges? Fronts and the backs. We're going to put some of those on the shelf. And the other things I made are these fairy scrolls. I pretend that fairies write stories on these pieces of paper and then roll them up and put them on the shelf so that later on someone can read a story. I think that fairies probably like stories very much. Now to make those it's very simple. I actually use old paper for these pieces of paper in the schoolhouse but I just use the edges that are blank and then I just roll them up. Roll them up just like that. Another thing that I put on the shelf are little fairy potion bottles. And I'm going to make a little fairy potion bottle out of a button, a little pearl, and a pretty bead. I'm going to hot glue in here and set the bead in, and then I'm going to top it with the little pearl.
And there's our little potion bottle. And it can go on the shelf as well. And here's another little potion bottle that I made that we can put on the shelf. I put all kinds of other things on the shelf like dried herbs, little bits of pine cone leaves. You can fill those shelves with anything you want. Moving on, let's put our table in. This is the table we made in the other video. You can put it right there. And some fairy chairs. This little girl loves to stand on the chair because she's so tiny. Here's one of our fairies who sits on a cork chair. She's working on a piece of homework. I took a little piece of paper and I wrote very finely on it. And I gave her a little pencil from a tiny little stick. Let's add our fairy teacher. And we'll add another little student to the table. And now our fairy classroom is full. It looks like it's going to be a great day at fairy school. Our fairy school is now complete. There are so many different ways that you could create this fairy school from a shoebox. So many different ways that you could create the fairies, the furniture, and create the decorations. I'd love to see what you're going to do with your fairy school. Thank you so much for coming by to view this video series. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. <laughs>